Cancer Singles, welcome. It's a singles read using the uh, Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck here. This is for the first half of October. And it's going to be the first week I brought back the singles reading in a while now. So, in Cancun, uh, Mexico, in the backyard. <laughs> uh, it's very peaceful, thank God. And not that hot, thank God. Really, I, I did the first three readings out here this morning. Uh, it's really hot now. It's just like so perfect. Gotta say. Okay, so I already pre-shuffled. Just want to put a little energy on this. We're going to look at your person. It's right for you, your soulmate. So it's always positive reading. You're never going to get a negative reading. Because um, we're asking spirit for the one that's right, not for the next ex-problem, ex-wife, uh, ex-husband energy. But the one that's right. And we're just going to look at uh, emotional aspects, intellectual, sexual love, in nature, uh, core value and lifestyle, I call it, the four pillars. And pull eight cards, same as the heart spread, but this is for totally and completely singles. The emperor shows up in the emotional position. See that kind of read to a little bit as the conscious part of the self. Strength shows up in the emotional position under the emperor. Major, Akana, wow. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to think if I need to say the two most, the two strongest signs in the deck, uh, cards, yeah, Aries and Leo, energy, that's saying something, now let me also look now at the six of wands, this is in his intellectual or her intellectual position, it's uh, not reading the sex, in the intellectual position, uh, justice, Six of Wands, think conscious, justice, unconscious position. Three major arcanas and with this person. And a Six of Wands. I need to see this. This is the sexual and love nature. The Empress. So we have the Emperor and the Empress here. And I always think uh, the emotional nature will carry into the sexual nature. The intellectual nature here carries more into the lifestyle core values. Watch as we go along in the world. I've never quite seen a uh, singles like this before, Cancer. This is also in the sexual position. Um, this person will be so good in bed that you'll want to marry them. <laughs> the empress in the world. I mean, you don't even, you even need to... I even need to, do I really need to even say anything? You just kind of look at those two and go, how does that make you feel like about a sex partner? I mean, that's pretty yummy. Man or woman, because don't, don't worry about that. You got the emperor and the empress here. Wow. Um, probably dominant too. I'm not necessarily saying shades of gray. Just, they're going to come at you with that empress now. Um, in the lifestyle core values, we're going to have the eight of cups. And we're going to have the eight of wands. Wow. I, I absolutely love this, man. My brain is going ding, 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 ding with the possibilities. Um, but the eight of cups and the eight of wands, it's like just pour it on with everything you got or let it go. All or nothing. All or nothing right there. So there's something going on with them with all or nothing. And guys, I'm not kidding around about this. I'm not just saying this and trying to get people to watch. But the emperor, strength, justice, the empress, the world. And whatever they're doing, it's like they're in perfect alignment uh, emotionally. And they're uh, taking actions. Um, I get the feeling that for every one of these cups... Uh, that your person here, Cancer, um, and they somehow will tell you this story. Um, they've had to align their life, emotionally align their life. It's been a growth process. And they've had to give up something, leave something behind, give up something, lose something, leave something behind, let something go, this process. And they've learned to just flow. I mean, this to me is like, uh, 
really strong energy, you know. Um, just someone that just is a, a pleasure to be around, has a lot of high energy, um, but um, is it's not uh, an energy vampire or energy drain or anything. They're just very high vibing. Um, uh, six of Wands, too, in the intellectual position here. Uh, the Empress there. I really want to read a Taurus Venus. That would make this an Aries, and you got the Emperor, you know. So I think we got a, and the Leo Moon explains the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands very well. Boom. So Leo Moon, let me be that the first pull. I've uh, had experience with Leo Moons intimately. Um, very light, very beautiful, light up a room, uh, a really positive energy, but they don't do uh, downer, they don't do dark, they don't do the Scorpio stuff much, you know, they're like, you know, those people that are like, mm -mm, got to be positive, and they just, otherwise, not, and they're Leo, so they ain't going to have it, you try to force it on them, and it ain't, ain't going to work, they got a lion there with them. Uh, so, and then they happen to have this Aries sun. And I got to go with that because this Empress feels so much like Taurus to me. Venus. Hmm. I'm trying to think then what would balance him. They might be a Scorpio rising. Don't have to ask me how I got that, but with these Eight of Cups and Eight of Wands, I'm thinking Eighth House, and I'm thinking how would you get this balance? So, if this is your person, uh, your person, this one, uh, it comes from a wealthy or she comes from a wealthy background with the emperor over the strength. There's no other way to read this. Um, I get the sense that they themselves are not, uh, you know, fantastically wealthy. So, whatever, I, but I think, like, there's a sense they come from some real wealth, you know, uh, and uh, old family or something so in their childhood that would have been how they were i think they might have benefited from um, um really good education you know those kind of bought and paid for education oh, i thought that was thunder <laughs> yeah but i think they took advantage of it and they have the mind for it <clears throat> and this justice now has got to be uh aquarian mercury if this is an Aries, I don't see how else. Uh, which I know it's not Libra, but you know, uh, you look at the sword there with this justice, you know. And Aquarius can certainly bring that energy. Now making judgment call. And so it's somebody that's not afraid to take uh, risks, too, with the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. I could see them, uh, especially also with the Six of Wands here in this intellectual position, um, especially when they were younger, uh, on their age. It, I, it, it gotta be, gotta be over the first Saturn return. I say that a lot, but I just can't see a young person here. If they're a young person, then they really are extraordinarily composed and come from a you know, good background and had the benefits of a higher education, had a mind capable of taking advantage of the higher education. Um, and with their, their Venus is very well placed for them, I feel, you know, and I'm not sure with the world, but it's just adding to my feeling that, you know, they, they were given kind of a silver spoon, that kind of a silver spoon energy. And I, and I think they did, did well with it. And I think they were some kind of athlete. They might still be. Um, but it's like, I get the feeling, man, this aid, this keeps coming back to me. It's like haunting me. This is the, I'm trying to think of the guy's name. The Baskin Robbins? Robbins. Tom Robbins. Uh, he turned down this massive inheritance, you know, because he didn't believe in any meat and stuff. Um, this is just kind of not saying this is that exactly. But it's like all of this, they have turned this into, I mean, this person could be a life coach and that's just what they do because they make okay money and they, you know, maybe they do have a little trust fund or something. 
and uh, they're just doing exactly what they want to do in a very balanced way. Um, and I just get this very Zen feeling about them. They may literally have done Zen, have been in a monastery, have uh, that kind of story to tell, or just sitting as a Zen by themselves and has uh, been a habit or something with the meditation. Uh, and with the Empress in the world, it's like I, I, I can't remember what the configuration was, but I did a chart for a couple people that had this, and it's like every time they make love to someone, to the other person, it's like the best in the, they've ever had. And it's a little bit of a curse because usually if, with some age, this person, your person, so they may tell you this story, they will accumulate, uh, even if they don't want to, even if they don't encourage it, you know, they could actively, actively discourage it. In fact, the two I talked to, they actively discouraged it, did no good. They had just people just following them and stalking them. Um, it's the perfect alignment with Venus um, and the Mars. And I don't know what their Mars here. It might actually be Gemini. Yeah, it could go there, you know? And a lot of people are down maybe on Gemini, Venus, Mars. And Gemini's a, uh, it, it really go well with this Aquarius, Mercury, a Gemini, Mars. Um, they could even be trying. And I, their mind's doing a lot for them. They're getting a lot of bang for their buck, you know? Um, they got a lot out of their education. And they got more out of their education. They got how to think. They might have had an Ivy League education, but maybe it was in humanities like it used to be when we went to school just to be better human beings and more bigger human beings, uh, and not just to get a, a trade to make money. Um, so I really dig this person. I think we got some specifics, guys. Do let me know if you run into them. I can see that this is not being someone that you're with now or is on your mind. So this will be someone new coming in. So you won't know. So get back to me in a week or two when this person, man or woman, uh, shows up in your life. And like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Do appreciate it. Thank you, guys.